<laughs> this is awesome. How easy is that? All right, here in the near future, I'm gonna have to do some transmission work. So I picked up this uh, transmission jack. This is off of Amazon, just thousand pounds. Uh, torn big red jacks. Um, it's a little bit too high for the max jacks. So it's gotta be modified. Uh, it had this nice section here that was, looks like you could cut out the, the, as much as you needed to to get this lowered down so it'll fit underneath the, uh, the car past the height of the max jack. So right now this is at the highest, believe it so, I might try to get a little bit higher, but uh, unless I put some extensions on the pads, this is about as high as it goes. I'm gonna check it to make sure that this is the highest level. But. Oh, so I was wrong, it did go up one more notch on the on the safety clamps. So this is the height I need to get it to. So we're gonna, I'm gonna get this out, set it up, and then figure out how much uh, length I need to cut out of the, uh, um, of that base stand. Um, looks like everything's in okay shape. The box showed up pretty mangled, but it is very heavy. So the uh, poor Amazon driver had to, had to hoist that in out of his truck a few times, I'm sure. But, uh, Get it out here and take a look at it.
Well, figures I forgot to hit record when I cut it off, but uh, anyway, I just got a cutoff wheel, uh, four and a half inch cutoff wheel, went around it, marked it three and a half inches, and just cut it off, clean up the edges. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to have to basically replicate these holes in this bottom plate so that uh, it'll bolt right in without all this extension. Hopefully that'll get us where we need to be. Pretty straight. All right. Hit that with some brake cleaner. Wipe it up, and then we'll hit it with some paint. All right. I think that is going to do the trick. We'll get it assembled and. Thank you. 
tip that way. So I need to shim up this side. inches tall so if it was sitting on here I wouldn't be able to get all the way down and out but I do have those five and a half inch uh, risers for the uh, lift so that could get me five inches higher which would be about 15 inches and then I could do it so if I'm going to do transmission work where I've got to pull it I'm going to have to put those risers on there so it'll it'll uh, take a few more steps to get it up on the lift I'll have to lift it up Put some jack stands under it, drop it down, put the, uh, the risers on it, and then take it up. And then, uh, then I'd have an extra five, five and a half inches, which would be plenty. And then worst case scenario, we just get it down to that far, and then uh, we can lift the lift up a little bit further. Because it'll go up further, it just doesn't sit on the locks at that height. You know, I'd, it's a review of this, which seems pretty good. Um, I think it'll do the job for me. I don't know if it was a shop where he did this a lot, if it would stand up to the test of time, but I, I don't see why not. Seems all right. Uh, you know, I've, of course, modified it, but I don't know why it would be different with that extra riser on here. If I had a higher lift, um, <clears throat> it would have been fine as is. But uh, this will do the job. If you've got a max jacks and you need a transmission lift, this will do it. Uh, big red jacks will do the job with some work. Um, I don't know how long I've been working on this, but um, not terrible. Just had to cut that one bar off, re-drill three holes, and bolt it together. Thanks for watching. Any comments, put them in the uh, comments section. Please like and subscribe if you found it useful. Uh, appreciate any feedback anybody has. Um, if you've done something similar, if you've got another option that you've used for your max jacks or a you know, mid-height mid jack, uh, please share it with everybody else. This is this one that I found. I'm sure there's a lot of other options, but uh, take care. Thank you for stopping by and appreciate it.